All right, DeAndre, I know someone's eventually going to ask you about your teammate, but I'll first ask you about yourself. You're out there usually playing the fourth. They play the three. How comfortable are you playing that small forward spot with this group here for Jesse? Um, I mean, that's what I've been working on um, since, I was, since I was in high school, just playing the three. And um, I played in three in college some little bit in my freshman year, but guys transferred, so that forced me to play the fourth. So I'm just, I'm just a basketball player, a guy that can tell me that whatever the coaching staff tell me to do, I'm going to go do it. And uh, just trying to come out here, just compete and have fun. Talk about competing. How tough is it to go out there, not with a consistent group and be in a game where you're down 30, and how do you fight through that? Um, just just keep playing, just you're trying to get better and just focus on the things that you need to work on and things that you need to do. And um, at the end of the day, all I do is just want to win. But um, we turned the ball over too many times, I think at least like 30 turnovers. But um, I mean, it's behind us now. It's just to get ready for like the playoff game. A rough game for in terms of the, I guess, the caliber of, of competition that you're going to be facing as well. Is it a learning lesson when it, when you think about the caliber of competition that you're facing and losing it in the fashion that you guys did? Um, I mean, yes, it definitely is a, a learning experience. Um, definitely just trying to learn how to how to play the game. The game is definitely different from college and different spacing and trying to learn all the defensive techniques and guys helping and rotating. So I feel like that's what we need to focus on more, just helping guys and um, just sharing the basketball. Bruno got uh, pretty emotional there towards the end of the third quarter. As a teammate, you know, with the language barrier the way that it is, what can you say or, or do to kind of give him encouragement and kind of pick him up after something like that? Um, I just told him keep his head up, um, just forget about it and just move on to the next play. Um, things happen in basketball, people get the shot blocked, people get dunked on. I just told him just keep his head up and he's going to be fine. When you the biggest difference that you've noticed just playing on this level? I mean, I know it's not regular season NBA, but compared to uh, college? Um, I think my money focuses on trying to get better on defense. Um, with me playing a forward, just on a rotating and not trying to get, not trying to be in the lane for three seconds and just trying to get in and out. But um, I feel like that's the biggest adjustment I'm trying to, trying to get. A, a when you see a teammate react like that after something, what does that mean to you as a teammate? Does it mean it means a lot to him? Like, how do you as a teammate respond to one of your players going through something like that? Um, I'm, I know he has fight in him. He, uh, he no matter who it is, it's Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, he's not going to back down to nobody. But um, I just told him. Just keep his head up. He's gonna be fine. And um, I mean, he's a, he's a really good player and very long, and good good athlete. So he's gonna be he's gonna be good. Do you feel for kind of what he's going through in, in terms of the process coming here, uh, not knowing or being fluent in the language and kind of getting accustomed to not only the, the NBA game but also the culture uh, in in North America? Um, I think it's kind of tough for for a young kid like him that's like 19. But um, I, I feel like he's doing a pretty good job and um, he's learning English every day. But um, and he's he's. He's definitely adjusting to, to the style of play. So, I mean, I, he's going to be definitely, he's going to be fine.